Hi folks, welcome to the tutorial on solar. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure solar home and solar core. Well, remember that because the tutorial is going to be a bit longer, that's why I have made two segments of this tutorial. And in these two, two, two tutorials, in this tutorial and the next tutorial, I'm going to configure solar home and solar core by creating four files and um, I'm going to populate those four files with some information and, and voila that's it um, so bear with me I'm going to demonstrate how to do those stuffs how to create and populate four files where to place them and if you just follow the guidelines that I'm showing in this tutorial and the next then I think uh, you'll not have any problem not face any problem to configure solar home and solar core uh, let me tell you what's uh, a solar home or solar core and to do that i am now in solar example folder and i'm just typing the java minus jar start jar dot jar command to start my solar instance so as my solar instance is up and running now i'm going to my web browser and in my web browser i'm just typing in the localhost 8983 solar uh, hashtag to go to the solar admin page okay so solar is now up and running now if you go to here the core selector and you click the drop down menu then you can see that we have one core which is called collection one so collection one is actually given to you with the solar package installation package and it's been there and nobody has created them uh, I mean you actually didn't create the, this particular call, core called collection one it's there from the beginning so it's the place where actually when you whenever we try to index some data or information using JSON or CSV or whatever technique we try to use all those indexes were made in this collection one core so maybe why actually are we trying to learn how to configure solar home and solar core well maybe this may be the case that someone is asking you to create a separate core for indexing some of your confidential data that should not be in your collection one default core of solar so for that particular problem you have to create your own core where you can index your data or information just like the way we have shown in the previous tutorials now to demonstrate how you can create your own core I'm now going to uh, let me move the screen a bit I'm now going to the solar installation folder here uh, I'm now currently in the solar example folder sorry it's the solar folder let's go to the home page to see where I'm going exactly so in my home page I have uh, unzipped the solar installation package here in solar and then you can see a directory called example I go inside example and there is a directory inside of example which is called solar so I go inside of it so you can see that you have we have bunch of uh, directories here chap uh, bean chp02 collection one collection two well i think that you guys don't have so far uh, chp02 and collection two these two folders you just have collection one and then you have some um, uh, other files like like readme text and solar xml and so on so here at first we have to create a directory for example I'm going to create a directory I'm, I'm currently on, on Ubuntu so you can create the directory using the command line interface I'm not going to do that in this tutorial I'm trying to make make you guys visualize what I'm doing here so I create a folder and that folder can be called tutorial so in this folder or directory actually I'm going to create the core for the solar so this directory is called tutorial 
then we go inside the tutorial directory it's empty because we just created one and now I'm going to create a document an empty file and this empty file should have the name solar and its extension should be .xml so we have to create four files in solar and these four files will serve the purpose to create or configure the solar home and solar core for you so remember that every core all every time you are going to create a core you have to create four files so the first thing is that you create a directory anywhere in your system and in that directory you create a file you create a you create an XML file called solar.xml so now I'm going to open this XML file using a text editor because we have to populate this solar.xml file and it's now opening so when it's done when it's open you can see that the solar.xml is now empty because we just created one so then we going we are going to create an XML file like this is an XML file and the version is going to be say 1.0 and the encoding we are going to do is UTF-8 so this is a very trivial task whenever you are going to create uh, an XML file and then we're going to pre, uh, close the tag here then we're going to create a tag called solar and the solar tag also ends here and in between the solar tag you're going to create another tag which is called solar cloud and we're going to close that tag so for this moment this file can be pretty much larger than this but for this moment for these tutorials um, I'm just going to create a solar cloud tag and that's it and I'm going to save it so I just saved the file okay so now we just created a, an XML file called solar.xml and we have populated the file with some information now we are again in in that tutorial directory so for this tutorial sake uh, say that we are going to create a core solar core named simple so we are just creating another directory inside the tutorial directory and this time it's called simple because we're going to name our core as simple so we created a directory called subdirectory called simple and in that subdirectory again we see nothing because it's just new and we're going to create another document inside this subject you call simple and that uh, particular files name is going to be core dot properties that's it and again we're going to open that file and in that file we're going to write down some property values like name of the core which is simple and then we are going to provide the config information which is solar config dot xml so this is a file name from where solar is going to read some data to uh, create and open the con configuration for the core so we have to create solar config dot xml file as well but for this moment forget all about that just focus on how, what information you need to put in a core dot properties file and the third line line can be schema the schema we are going to use can be named as schema.xml again this file does not exist so far so we are going to create schema.xml file in in um, sh shortly as well and we are saying that load on startup uh, so start up so please be careful with the on uh, word here because O is a capital and startups S is also a capital and we're going to set this parameter value to true this means that whenever you are going to learn this uh, whenever you are going to open this core it's going to be there at the startup whenever you you are opening whenever you are running your solar admin so with these four lines in the core.properties file again I am saving that file so the file is now saved 
Now remember that to configure Solar Home and Solar Core, we need uh, two more files to create and populate. That those two files are solarconfig.xml and schema.xml. So we are going to create those two files in the next tutorial. But for this moment, let's examine what we actually did in the solar.xml file. So this was our solar.xml file. In this default example, all we had to do to enable automatic discovery of course was uh, add the solar cloud XML tag. So we have added this XML tag, omitting other configuration that can be added later when we need them. So when Solar finds this tag, it will search all the subfolders for a core.properties file. So that's why we have created a core.properties file in a subdirectory. So if a file with that name exists in a directory, Solar will try to load the corresponding core. Please note that this file can be even empty. And in that case, the values used are the default ones that we have used here explicitly to fix ideas, okay? In fact, the only non-default value is the name. So if the name is not defined, it will be assumed that the name of the folder containing the file is the core name. So you can see that our the name of the directory that contains the core.properties file in our example was simple. So even if, if we do not define the name as simple, if it is empty, the core.properties file is empty, then in that case, simple will be the name of the core because the core.properties file is inside the simple subdirectory. And note that if you want to hide a core from the discovery mechanism of Solar, you can simply rename the core.properties file, like you can put core.properties.skip or .hide. In that case, whenever you are changing the name of the core.properties file, Solar will not find this particular file and will not be able to discover your core. So in that case, you'll not be able to see your core right here on the Solar Admin panel. Okay, so this is the first part of two-part tutorial to discover or configure Solar Home and Solar Core. So if you are benefited from this tutorial, please subscribe and press like. And I'm going to come back with the second part of this tutorial where we are going to create two more files called solarconfig.xml and schema.xml. Thank you very much.